So the question is not, can you buy a tinting kit on Amazon, but it's, which one do you buy? Because there are a wide variety of kits to pick from, ranging, I don't know, I have this one for 12 bucks, I have all the way up to here for $25.99. Uh, you could be spending a lot more than that on tinting tools, but if you just want something to tint your car, what tools should you be looking for? Because there's a lot of ones in here that I would probably avoid. So we're gonna be picking out what I think are the best tools out of these kits, and we are gonna be tinting that window yet again in those tools. So. Let's get to it. First up, we have Amazon's best seller. Uh, this is the Go Make. Uh, it's a six piece kit, runs $8.99. And what's weird is most of these kits all uh, say they're for vinyl wrapping and window tinting. So they're really just trying to hit as broad of a search term in that. Good God, they, they actually packed that pretty good. These are mostly for car wrapping. I could use these for touch-ups on window tinting, but as far as like a regular squeegee goes, this isn't really gonna do the job. Uh, these tools right here, uh, they're all for tucking. Uh, we have a uh, cheesy letter opener. <laughs> I mean, you could use the, the knife that they included. Actually, not bad. All right, I give it to them on the knife. Um, usually where they also cheap out, uh, is gonna be on the blades, pretty decent, and uh, they're well oiled up. So you don't know if running those over your glass is necessarily gonna scratch them, but as far as uh, a knife goes, yeah, I pretty much would spend $8.99, use one of these, and the knife, and the blades, cool. So uh, we'll put those aside. The rest of this, no. Man, I was so hopeful for this one, and then as soon as I got it out of the package, I was uh, I was pretty disappointed because um, you got a little silly spray bottle. So we actually might need to keep that. Uh, it has a knife. It's a very crappy plastic knife here. I would definitely use this knife over this one. This guy, ah, so disappointing because you could damn near tint an entire window with one of these. This is very different from this. Almost identical, but there's some really cheesy manufacturing and plastic going on here. This actually has a really nice smooth edge to it and a really soft feel. Avoid this one. So no, yes, uh, and no. Next up, Zanch. Zanch? This is a 10 piece kit for $13.99. Whole lot of stuff in here that is more geared towards window tinting finally but there's still uh, some busy tools. Yo, dude, I use these. I use these every day. This is called the shank. I use these for tucking. This is definitely a keep. Um, this is our first handle squeegee. So when you really cheap out on squeegee blades, like, I mean, it's a squeegee blade, right? What, what can be the difference? Well, along that bottom, a lot of weird impressions and stuff. So these, they just, they don't slide as well. It's not a throwaway entirely. The handle seems okay. Uh, this would be, okay if this is the only handle squeegee you got. You would want something a little bit better than this, but you could definitely get away from it. Oh, this is adorable. This is just one of those little squeegees that just teeny tiny. So if you need to do a small window, that would be nice. We have another one of these cards here. Overall, they seem pretty comparable. So you can kind of just put those together. This is a little surprising it's called a contour, but this is a knockoff version. This one feels a little bit more rubbery, still pretty smooth, a little better than what I was anticipating. So this one, I'm gonna put it on the maybe category. There's certain ones that would definitely replace this. You see these in just about about every kit. This is a knockoff of the, uh, what is called a conquistador. So I use those in my belt. Uh, these come in a yellow and blue variety. The white ones, the blade disintegrates pretty fast. So if you only need to use it a couple times, you might be okay. Other than that, it's kind of a, it's in that middle category where if it's all you got, then that's uh, okay. Plastic blade holder with, uh, wow, an actual blade in the middle with uh, plastic razor blades on the side. I'd assume it's gonna fit in here if they're selling it with it, but uh, we're just gonna kind of move on because you wouldn't use that. Okay, so next up we have the Eddies uh, for $14.99. This is a seven piece kit. They give you a lot of the similar stuff that they have in the Zanch kit. So we have the same type of rubber squeegee blade. We have the same uh, felt soft card there. This has no purpose really, not for window tinting, especially when you have a rubber squeegee plate. So we do have a squeegee handle for the squeegee blade. As far as these goes, I would recommend a more plastic one than the metal. The metal ones will generally rust and they just 
more risk to damaging uh, from the metal hitting something. So these, this honestly feels way solid enough. So just stick with the plastic one, same blade. This one is a softer contour and this one's a little bit harder. So that's, God, see, they're just so weird. I don't know why. They're just those little manufacturing differences. Conqueror thing, that like, same quality with the same blade. Do we got the same knife? Ooh, this knife in my book is totally fine. I mean, it does that really well. Push down on something, you want that blade to lock in place so it doesn't just keep slipping in and out. So yeah, good on, good on the knives. The knives are a keep. Little chiseler, so if you have little touch-ups and stuff, this is pretty good for that. I was gonna use this for touch-ups. This, I would use if I had a harder touch-up. That's a, that's a tinting thing. So yeah, so this is a no. Uh, this is probably a no at this point. We're not doing car wrapping, so we only need one of those. They're all the same. Very last kit for $25.99. The Riva. This is a whole bunch of tinting and wrap tools. Some of those look familiar there. Exact same squeegee handle and squeegee blade. Exact same uh, scraper. This is a wrapping tool. You're not gonna use that for tinting. We have another shank. These things are awesome for tucking, so highly recommend getting one of those. There was only the one cheap kit that had it, so gonna have a harder time finding that. This is just weird. This is hard. This is this is gonna scratch the hell out of your tent. Uh, it seems like it would be helpful, but it's a more hard, pla don't use this. That got another uh, letter opener. No, we got some spare blade. Another knife. This one, uh, these knives are very similar. These ones are the better knives, so they definitely cheaped out on that. Don't get these. We have another blue card with a felt strip. So this is more for like shrinking a back window. Come to think of it, uh, you actually could also use this to help shrink your back window. So you don't need a dedicated hard card. You could use one of these, uh, this side for shrinking and uh, this side for touch-ups there. So you don't need that one. <sighs> I don't know if you're ever gonna use this. This thing just kind of looks like an obscure tinting tool to make the kit look busy. I this is a side swipe. These things are pretty helpful. Uh, this blade, pretty flexible. These are useful for tinting back windows. So definitely a keep for that. This sometimes is really helpful for a door window. So you could either use one of these or one of these. So this is really just like a corner tool. Uh, these are slimmer. So these are very good uh, for getting into tight spots and squeegeeing out the water, but they do have a tendency to scratch uh, after a little bit of use, so use these sparingly. So they gave us an X-Acto knife, and you're not gonna use these for tinning. This is probably just for vinyl. So they gave you a relatively crappy knife, but you at least get a knife uh, to cut out your tint, and then this, you're never gonna use this for tinning, so just toss this away. We have another one of these. Uh, these two feel the same. Uh, this is that white and black. Not really gonna use this. They like to throw these and they last these uh, pretty much in everything. So when I was going through them, I was really just really looking for one of these because they're so helpful. Handled squeegee or something similar to squeegee out the water. Uh, this, if you need it for a back window, which honorable mention too for a back window is you're gonna wanna pick up this. This is a bulldozer. This is uh, 1399 a uh, heat gun. So these will cost you some more money uh, for sure. But as far as just, you know, what you need to cut out and squeegee the film, a halfway decent knife is always handy. Uh, this for touch-ups. You only really need one of these. So if I had to put it down to the two, I'd probably toss this guy away and then get this guy. You don't need this then for touch-ups and a small squeegee is only helpful if you're gonna be doing small quarter windows or something like that. And we do have a scraper. You also can just get the razor blades. You don't need a holder for them, but if you want that extra, then you can do that. Let's go strip that uh, Walmart window film off and uh, let's go retint my door. We're gonna be using my favorite ceramic on this door. And if you didn't think I was a team player, we're gonna be using the little Rabagoo spray bottle. See that? That's not great. It's uh, literally disintegrating. Squeegee. Ooh, yeah. Just before installation, if you need a razor blade, then you're definitely going to use that. And then this is where that side tool really comes in handy. See, we're using it on the sides. Rubber squeegee. Corner tool.
So like I said, for tucking the film in, this is super handy. So on tighter seals, you're gonna want something like this. If you don't have a kit with it, this will get you by. So yeah, there you have it. Uh, at the end of the day, you can make your windows look pretty good with uh, very little in tools, actually. As a professional then, what would you recommend out of those? I'd probably go for like the Zanch. Uh, it seemed to have the most of everything that we used here and it had a couple little extras, you know, like the, uh, the shank and it did have a scraper too, so if you need something like that. The only thing it didn't have that I wish it did was, uh, was this yellow guy right here instead of the one that they picked. At the end of the day though, uh, as a professional, I carry um, quite a few different things. So if you're ever curious about what we actually use in the industry, feel free to pop into my live stream at any time and ask questions all about it. Um, I will also have some links to the descriptions uh, for recommendations, professional recommendations if you're interested in getting into tinting. We'll probably make a follow-up video about this. And in the meantime, have a good day. Go tint some windows.